He's like on his last leg. So you think it's pronounced, look. Oh! See something like this. If we never see him again, they got eaten. Let's catch them all with Catch Em All Fishing with Zach Ketchum. Hey guys, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Scaring iguanas and stuff. We're gonna feed our little fish today. I'm thinking about getting some, oh! I'm back. I'm thinking about getting some new fish. It's really pretty in here, but I, I kinda want some blue fish, I don't know. Hey guys. <laughs> Man, I love these guys. They're so cool. I'm really enjoying all of these, all these colorful uh, cichlids and goldfish and stuff. And my koi. Gotta feed koi. I'll feed the bass later. Oh, you hurt your lip. That's probably because you jumped up and grabbed the lizard or something. Shamu always doing naughty stuff. All right, here, koi. Just munching. Munching. Look at that big boy. Jeez Louise. But yeah, obviously you guys know there was a point in time where he wasn't eating. But it just takes some time. Yeah, just kidding. I'm going to feed Shamu. Here's some old snakehead bites from our last bow fishing video. That was sick. That was one of my favorite videos to make. Here you go, big boy. I always say big boy. I always mean to say big girl. Here you go. Go ahead. Oh, God! Ah! Ow, that always hurts. Oh my gosh. I love you. Just take that one. Look at this, I'm bleeding guys. Shamu, you made me a bloody mess. Aren't bats not supposed to have teeth? Why do you have teeth? You freaking monster demon <laughs> all right guys we're here my friendly neighborhood beverly's pet center let's go inside shall we first thing you see tell me what it is the pond this is a fish centered place guys look at all this stuff should we get one of these i mean geez we don't have to walk very far look at the little koi i have a video on my instagram guys there was a big, big clown knife fish, like the size of one of them, excuse me, that I caught over here. Let's take a look. Yeah. What the? Prairie dogs? Yo, that's hilarious. Who would buy a prairie dog? Comment below. And guys, this is where I filmed my, uh, my video describing how I how I built my pond. That is my pond filter. Lower pond anyway. Woohoo! Hi! The blue apparel. This is gorgeous. They have all sorts of stuff here. Jeez Louise. Excuse me. Ah, oh, silver sides. I've always wanted some of those. Does anyone know what these are? Guys. Yeah, the, the Akaras are pretty That's your that choice. The electric ones are what is that? Silver sides are cool though. That might be a good option for us. Dude, that thing looks pink. Is that because of the because the lighting or what? That is like the pinkest fish of all pink time. Giant Garamis, that's pretty cool. But I can't believe how pink that fish is. They do a really good job with the water treatment here. 
fresh plants. Oh, uh, tiger. Oh, I miss my tigress. Guys, I had a huge tiger shovel nose. Look at you looking at me. I'm trying to soak up all the spotlight. <laughs> and jaguar. When I caught in that last video. So funny how they sell them at the pet stores for like 70 bucks. I can catch them like literally right outside this pet store. Like across the street right now in 10 seconds. <laughs> Look how small this Jaguar is. $99. Look at that. Oh, and he's missing an eye. He's a pirate. These guys are pretty cool. Similar in color to our little color format. What the heck? Dude. Red Devil. Or is it a hat select thing? Dude, why are they so, so shocked to see me? Look, all of their mouths open, they're like, what? Those are pretty cool, actually. Are these fish aggressive? Yeah? They're pretty cool looking. That might be a good option for us. Dude. It's a red belly Paku. He's like on his last leg. This poor thing is so skinny. That thing's like toast. What the heck, dude? These look like snakeheads. Emerald pike. Look how cool they are. Dude, are they selling a channel catfish? Like for real? Dude, I catch everything in here. All right, guys, I'm deciding to start my own pet supermarket. It's called Catch em All's Backyard Pond Supermarket. I have all of these fish. No, I'm just kidding. See, something like this would be really cool, I think. These guys, you know, white? I, have, I don't really have anything white, like flashy white like this. And they're just big enough that I don't think they would get eaten by the Midas. Man, that might be a good option. That might be a good option. I don't know. These are actually snook. Not the snook that we catch, but snook all the same. Look, these guys are aggressive. They have huge mouths too. Oh, look, getting pissed. Ah, oh, jeez, look at that mouth. So cool. Oh, please take me home. I love you. Please take me home. <laughs> look at this. See if he follows me. Red Mammon. He did follow me. He wants to come home. I think he's actually trying to kill me. Hey, look. Oh! Oh! Look at this thing. This thing's trying to mess me up, man. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Jeez. That thing's like a 200 duck. 200 bucks for this evil thing. Look at this. Look at this. That is an aggressive fish. Do you want to eat my finger? Oh no, not today. Samu already got me enough. Dude, I took a quick gander and I thought these were snakeheads, but they're not. There's some saltwater fish that I have no idea the name of. I think they actually burrow into the sand and then come back out, do some weird things. Dude, they have some, they have a sick selection here, I'm not gonna lie. That is saltwater tank. I'll definitely have fun with these. Wounds. Oh my god, guys. Look at the goat. I need it. I need both of you. But not today. Does anyone know what that is? I have no idea what that is. A royal. Far Loella. Far Loella. They're pretty cool. They look like a little sturgeon. I have one of these. I never see him, but I have one of these in my lower pond. The Burmese sun catfish. I found the smallest Paco on earth, guys. Look at him. Look at him. Where are you going? That's, yeah, it's not a medium sized Paco. It's the smallest Paco in the world. It's albino, though. Dude, tarpon, why are they not swimming? That means there's no way they're healthy, right? No, their fins are all messed up. That sucks. Actually, I think it's pronounced seno, wait, tenopoma. 
C is probably silent. Weird. Bro. Your daddy's on board. Dude, guys, I didn't even see this huge pack of wolves down here. We have a bunch of iridescent sharks. As you can see, they're probably four inches long. A little bit bigger, four or five. Dude, so cool. So cool. Thought about getting these guys. They're really cool, but I don't want them chewing up all the fins of all my other stuff. Decided what I want. All four of these white skirt tetras. Yep. They look pretty cool. Hopefully they don't get lost in my pond. If they do, then we'll just repopulate the world with white skirt tetras. Thousands of people are watching you right now. One fish. Legend, got him. Out of the 10 gallon. L -l 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 legend. Sweet, bro. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, buddy. No problem. Thanks, bud. All right. So we're going home with our new pals. All right, so these are really small fish, so they have to adjust to the water temperature. But I think they're gonna be just fine at home. Look, everyone's like, oh, I want some food. Look, they're like hitting the bag. Look at them going crazy. All right, so we're gonna leave that in there for a while. Okay, they're, they're okay. I thought they were gonna go a little crazy right there for a moment. We're gonna leave this in here for, oh, geez. You see that? Freaking goldfish just hit him. We might have to just put this over here. Because that was a little crazy. I don't want to be in a panic. So I'm just going to put those things right over there while they adjust to the water temperature. Relax, relax, dudes. Relax. Geez, they're really trying to get out already. But, okay, so they're going to relax there for a little bit. And then I'm going to enter them into the pond. Alright guys, so it's been a little less than an hour. Here's a little trick I like to, to do when I'm releasing smaller fish. I like to give everybody food. All the bigger fish food to distract them from the smaller fish entering the pond. So the fish won't be as stressed. Like tons of food, like overfeed them. So much food that they won't even understand or give a crap about what happens to these little guys. Like food everywhere. It's time for the mega plunge. Ta ta ta. Ta 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 ta. Survive. Survive. Leave him alone, goldfish. Leave him alone. Survive. They're doing it. They're doing it. Being chased around a little bit, that's for sure, but they're okay. You see, that's why the food distraction is so important. Because now these guys are all too fat and they don't want to eat them. Hooray. Survive. So guys, looks like we have a couple extra new pets. If we never see them again, they got eaten. Well, thanks again for joining me on my adventure. I had a lot of fun and we got some new pets, so hopefully they do okay. Catch them all, guys. Catch them all. Catch them all fishing, YouTube and Instagram. You like this song, right? That light and comment.